Hey everyone, welcome back. Austin here. I'm in our Cooker Catch kitchen at the Alaska Fish House, and we are excited to tell you about sea urchin. Right here we have a purple and a red sea urchin native here to Southeast Alaska, and I'm gonna show you a simple preparation and how to clean them. So you can see these are still alive. They're moving around a little bit, and this is the top of the shell, and beneath, you can see there's an opening where the animal feeds. And what we're gonna do is cut that out with the scissors and then pry open the animal to expose the roe. In the females, it is the roe, and in the male, it's the reproductive organ. And it actually has two different textures. The female is a little more egg-like and the male's is a little more milky or a silky texture. So what we're gonna do is take our scissors and cut this open here. And that works very easily because it's not very hard as, as it is the shell. And we can take this out. So I'm going to remove the water inside. So there's a couple ways to expose the uni inside that we're looking for. We can cut with the scissors about an inch or so around, and you'll see them exposed like that. But we can also pop the shell open, and a technique is using two spoons that we kind of wedge inside and then pop it in half. You can see we have the insides exposed and these uni tongues is what we're looking for. So as you can see, we have our uni tongues inside and you wanna get rid of any of this, uh, any of the insides away first and then you wanna take either a spoon or a really small, small spatula and really gently remove this from the inside. And what I'm gonna do is put it directly into some cold salted water. And in that water, I have one tablespoon of salt per 16 ounces of water. And what that salt water is gonna do, it's going to not only clean any more debris off of the uni, but it's also going to help season it as well as firm up the uni for future use. The process of removing all the tongues is a little bit time consuming, but it's worth taking the extra time to really be delicate with it so that you get nice whole pieces of the uni. So we have our beautiful uni tongues and some sushi rice that we cooked. Added a little bit of rice wine vinegar, sugar and salt and we can place our uni tongues directly over the rice to make a nigiri style sushi. That's beautiful. We have the freshest sushi available here in Southeast Alaska that we were able to harvest these sea urchin today, process them, and be able to enjoy them really simply with a little bit of sushi rice. If you prefer, you can do a little bit of soy or wasabi to kind of enhance that flavor. This is an absolutely beautiful, simple way to showcase this uni. The taste flavor of the uni is exactly like the ocean, almost like a ocean custard, if you would. Um, just a extremely creamy, rich flavor that just goes so well with the rice with a little bit of vinegar in it and that sweetness of the sugar. So to see us prepare, catch, and cook wild foods of Southeast Alaska, check out exclusivealaska.com.